Hello and welcome to the wrap on day 16 of the Betfred World Snooker Championship. At one o'clock this afternoon, I had a huge smile on my face, not because it was the start of the world final, because there was a full house here at the Crucible. After the year we've had, it was fantastic to see the Crucible packed. And Barry Hearn, who's promoted sporting events all over the world, said a capacity crowd here at the Crucible for the final is one of his greatest achievements. What can I say about that is, firstly, the fact that we've been allowed to do it is a direct reflection on the job that snooker has done, not just for snooker, but for sport, for mental health of sports fans who've been starved of live TV. Over the last 12 months, the job world snooker teams have done has been second to none. The only word that's, or the only adjective that has been described to it by everyone who's seen what they've done is exemplary. And that sums up what they've done. They've put us in this position to be a, a shoe in choice for the government to say, if we need pilot events, there is nothing better than the World Snooker Championships over 17 days with over 40 sessions where we're collecting data which will educate us for the benefit of sport, cinemas, theatres, indoor entertainment, indoor sports. They will all benefit from the job that my team has done here at Sheffield. And the fact that they are being rewarded, and it is a reward to us as well, because we are so passionate about our sport and our snooker, to be able to have a full house, no social distancing on the last two days, is, if you like, the best slap on the back and well done that we could have ever have hoped for. I believe we will set the tone for sport going forward. We will open up the economy for our part, our contribution, and it's all down to people's efforts and being given the chance by the government. I'm, I'm often critical of the government in so many different ways, but this is the right way forward. And we have been a, proud to be a part of this experiment and look forward to the difference it's going to make to all of our sporting lives in the weeks and months ahead. You've been involved in some amazing events over the years. Mm. Monday night, 980 people on their mm. feet clapping the new world champion. Mm. Yeah. How will that rate in your it's career? It's going to be special. I mean, in a way, with me retiring, it's actually a great way to go out. If you, the, show, the showman in me says, you know, I'm a promoter, Mark, you know, I don't want to. I mean, I'll do behind closed doors events, I'll do limited attendance events, but I'm there to produce entertainment, to produce spectacles, to actually get that buzz, that feeling of a live crowd. And so for me, if you like, as I wave slowly into the sunset, nearly, uh, it's gonna be a fantastic exit and a fantastic statement that together, together we came through this pandemic and we come out stronger, we come out united and we come out entertained by the Betfred World Snooker Championships. Doesn't get better than that. Barry Hearn will be here tomorrow night and just have a look. There's a huge army here at the Crucible working so hard to get it ready for the next session. Now the 1997 world champion and commentator Ken Doherty says it's just brilliant to have the crowds back. It's incredible and it's so exciting, you know, for the players, uh, for all of us here, and indeed for World Snooker, for what they've done, for you, for you guys as sponsors as well, for all the protocols that have been put in place, for all the work behind the scenes and getting people tested, making sure everybody, you know, has been socially distanced and, and continuing with that government program uh, has been fantastic. You know, they've done, you know, an incredible amount of work and they should be applauded. Um, and it's just great to have crowds back. I mean, for the whole year, they've been playing in front of empty arenas. Uh, it's been great to still have tournaments on, but there's nothing like a full capacity crowd at Crucible for finals day. And uh, it's going to be great for today and, of course, tomorrow as well for the finals. So congratulations to everybody concerned. The staff here at the Crucible and World Snooker have worked so hard to get this event on. And if it goes well with this capacity crowd, then music venues open, theatres open, cinemas open, 
snooker are the pioneers at the moment to get the country back to some kind of normal. Well, what about the snooker this afternoon? I caught up with Dennis Taylor. It's currently Advantage Sean Murphy. Yeah, in fact, it could have been a lot uh, better for Sean because he was 2-0 up, a uh, 65 break, and looked like he was going to take the third frame. Mark did so well to take that frame, and I thought, here we go, it's going to be so close. But in the end, Sean will be delighted to have the 5-3 result. Almost just lost that last frame. It could quite easily then have been four each, but he's got to be over the moon, Sean. 5-3 up. When you're playing a four-session, you've got that in your mindset. If I can win the session 5-3, two frames in front, then you start thinking about sharing the sessions. But two experienced campaigners now there's a long way to go. Oh, unbelievable. This, this could go very close. I think we could have a very exciting finish to the Betfred World Championship this year because you know what Mark Selby's like. If, if he gets too far behind, he can tactically change things. Uh, but I don't... They were all pretty uh, fluent frames. There was not, none that got really tied down in safety battles. And that suits Sean. Uh, you could see Sean, a few of the shots that were played, Sean didn't want to get involved and, and made sure he got the red back up the table. Otherwise, in, in, in Mark's last match, there was a few re-racks, but that, that, that hasn't happened today. And wasn't it great to see the capacity crowd? <sighs> I mean, the introduction, when the players come in, if that doesn't give you a lift, nothing does, because they've played for a year. They've been, they've been so lucky, and, and the viewers have been lucky, to see snooker for the last 12 months. Everybody's been really struggling. But to get the full, almost full capacity back in the Crucible, that was such a lift for everybody. You know, even, even the commentators, you, you get involved more because of the atmosphere, so it was brilliant. And uh, I think... Tonight's going to be a real crucial session. Wouldn't be surprised if um, Mark doesn't take that 5-3, but Sean Murphy has got other ideas. Want to know what goes on in this fabulous venue? There's a very special programme right now on the World Snooker social media channels. It's called Inside the Crucible. They follow the semi-finalists last night and then have the build-up to the final today and you can watch it right now that's it for today's wrap i'll be back tomorrow when we're we'll building up to the final session of the betfred world snooker championship who will be the 2021 world champion will it be mark selby or sean murphy we won't find out until tomorrow night can't wait betfred proud sponsor of the world snooker championship